let's uh, 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 turn now to the other major infectious problem that our patients post-allogenic transplant are facing, and that's uh, CMV. So first of all, you know, um, maybe Mark, again, from the clinical perspective, what is the importance of even preventing uh, CMV uh, viremia? I mean, we, CMV, we have drugs, so. CMV used to kill a large fraction of transplant patients. It would occur in a mysterious fashion months after the transplant. We didn't know it was there. Our mm -hmm. assays for it were you know, primitive, really. Uh, it, it actually, in, in retrospect, it was a terrible plague in those patients. Uh, now we have a methodical approach to addressing the problem, uh, a very fixed protocol for beginning serial monitoring for reactivation of CMV. But of course, you know, we pay attention to that even pre-transplant. The CMV between the uh, status between the donor and the patient is, is quite important as well. So if I may add also, so CMV, it's a very interesting virus actually. Uh, by itself, it's an immunomodulator. Actually, can cause immunosuppression as, as a viral infection. Uh, but also, before the era of preemptive therapy, uh, we used to see much more end organ disease and mainly CMV pneumonitis. Yeah, the, 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 the culture negative uh, pneumonia. Uh, right, yeah, yeah, before we had the tools to diagnose this kind of infection. And it, could, and it, you know, it, was, it is a serious infection if uh, somebody get it after transplant with very high mortality. And now with the preemptive therapy, and the reason, so we used to do prophylaxis, meaning giving drugs at, at the start of uh, engraftment uh, for patients. But the problem that we have, and we still have, uh, and hopefully until we get new drugs in the market, is the toxicity from the drug are commercially available. So we're talking about gancyclovir or foscarnet. Gancyclovir, myelosuppressive drug, we know that. And I know the transplanters don't like it at all. They don't want to go there. But at the same time, the alternative is foscarnet, which is a very toxic drug to the kidneys, unless you monitor very closely uh, the, IV you know, the IV well, fluid and so the electrolyte. Yeah. And you know, but you can get nephrotoxicity from it. So that's why we move away from prophylaxis, I would say, because of this toxicity, to preemptive therapy, where you look for CMV viral load in the blood once a week, sometimes twice a week. If it's positive, you treat short course, and then you go back to your preemptive therapy. Try to mitigate a little bit the toxicity from these drugs. Yeah. So but I mean, the, the, the still, what I have to tell my patients, okay, once we get you through the first month and you're engrafted, now the second month comes. Okay, yeah. the things we're looking for, we're looking for graft versus host, but CMV reactivation, and that's a real drag. Right. Uh, and that was the question I was yeah. going to ask. Is there a risk period? I, I understand there's a risk period for all of these different infections. CMV, right. what's the risk period? So CMV actually, so it's a very common infection for a recipient who are CMV seropositive. So they've been exposed to the virus, it's late in infection now. So they, you know, up to 80% or sometimes, you know, if you ask some cord transplant center, yes. they will tell you, uh, you know, 100% yeah. mm -hmm. in cord yeah. and haplo. So it is, so you stratify by risk, by high risk versus low risk, but still even match-related donor transplant, which usually are at low risk uh, for, in, for infections, uh, any kind of infection, but CMV is still up to 50% occur. So we're talking about high percentage of patients gonna get CMV reactivation, and and now you're gonna use all this toxic drug, put them at disadvantage. And actually, looking at data from uh, Fred Hutch uh, and uh, from Michael Borg, uh, looking at only any CMV viremia uh, with PCR 250 or above IU per ml, put patient at disadvantage for survival. Yeah when you yeah. compare to the one who did not get CMV virus. And they, they so it is I mean, I've seen patients have grafts rejected with you know, yes. out of control CMV yeah. reactivation. Certainly they have died from it. Um, and it's just a tremendous cause of morbidity when then you have to add the gancyclovir. They've just engrafted and they've finally gotten off transfusions and everything plummets 